What's up, everybody? Big Herc, 916. You tune into another edition of my vlog. I want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for all the support. You know I'm all about that positivity and that motivation. I also want to say thank you for those who have subscribed to my Patreon, who are supporting over there. You know, I could be raw and uncut, keep it 100 with you guys. And, uh, you know, somebody asked me what is the key to being successful after prison and um, I tell them a lot of it has to do with what you did while you were in prison if you took on the prisoner mentality the inmate mentality the convict mentality then you bought into that program therefore when you get out and you have to reprogram yourself to be normal around people in society it's hard for you to try to fit in you know I could I can point them out in the gym the guys who have been to prison who um, are somewhat mentally institutionalized you know the guys you see them they'll do an exercise and then they'll do a lap around the gym and then come back and do another exercise you know or they'll do an exercise and then do a burpee in between exercise don't nobody do no burpees like that on the street man you know, people do that in prison. That's jail stuff. And you can tell that, you know, a person's been locked up. Well, I could tell because I know what people do who have been locked up. But other people would tell, can tell that that person is different. Um, you know, you can see the guy who's walking, uh, you know, carrying his, his belongings in the bag, which is not like a, a regular... Um, backpack or something but just a regular bag and you know he's got a maybe a certain type of shoe on and he has the socks a certain way you can tell he's been to prison I mean I can point him out I can see a certain tattoo on a guy's uh, arm and tell he's been to prison you know you don't want people to be able to identify you like that first and foremost you know, going to prison is not a badge of honor it's something that you had to deal with if you um, got caught up in society, you made some mistakes, but you shouldn't be that identifiable in a, a general public that you've been to prison, especially if you're trying to get a job that, you know, has any type of value, a place where you're going to be work, working with professionals, you know, dealing with the public. Um, not everybody is as acceptable to ex-felons as, you know, some of these people who are in like entertainment or you know in, in tattooing or automotive you know maybe they're a little bit more lax because of the tattoos but in some professions that's like a turnoff so think about all those things if you do happen to get in trouble or if you've been to prison and now you're out and you're trying to find um, you know decent employment you're trying to elevate through the ranks of, of your workplace or just be successful all these things play a factor. You don't want to be uh, someone that, you know, somebody can just write off the cusp and say, oh man, that guy's an ex-felon. Um, most of the time when I meet people, it's not unless I tell them that I've been to prison or unless they've seen fresh out, they know that I've even been to jail. I, I don't want nobody to be able to just say, oh yeah, that guy's been to jail. Oh, that guy, he's from the hood. I mean, that guy, you don't want to be put in a box. You never want somebody just to place imaginary limitations around you um, assuming based off your appearance or the way you carry yourself that uh, you know you're, you've been somewhere you want to be able to be a chameleon you want to be able to blend in you want to be able to if you put a suit on um, look like uh, an, uh, somebody who's been in the office you want to be able to if you put on you know casual clothes you, you could look like you could blend in over here and, and, and you know be whatever but you don't want to ever be that person that um, you know for employment purposes you stand out against the grain and that's just a you know, unless you know unless you've already made it then that's something different when you see people with tattoos on their faces you know a lot of celebrities artists musicians that's an entertainment field so that's a totally different criteria than working in a uh, like a professional environment which requires you to you know dress a certain way and nowadays a lot of people work from home anyway so you can get away with a lot more 
but these are all things you got to consider you know when you're talking about um, seeking employment and being able to you know elevate yourself through the ranks if you're working for somebody else if you're working for yourself it doesn't really matter you can you know pretty much as long as you're you know you're clean you have a good presentation you know how to talk to people you shouldn't have any issue getting employment you know another thing is while you're in prison um, I tell people um, that you know you spend your time not bullshitting with a bunch of knuckleheads but reading and educating yourself coming up with business plans creating a journal having these things that you know you can reflect back on that will be your like your Bible for success these things uh, give you the tools you need and rather than wasting time watching endless TV shows you know talking shit um, hanging out you know worrying about useless stats of professional athletes that's not gonna do nothing for you focus on you know things that are gonna elevate you and, and allow you to um, invest make moves take a, take advantage of opportunities but your time is your most valuable asset people don't you know they think oh man you know you made all this money with uh, doing whatever you're doing on the street but when you're in prison the amount of money they pay you 15 cents an hour and you know you're working you know six seven eight hours and you realize that You've been duped and you know when it's all said and done if you would have just worked a regular job you'd have been better off or if you took your time and start your own business you'd have been better off so you know these are things you need to consider um, before you even do anything to go to prison but if you're if you've been to prison then you know maximizing your time to benefit you so you can come out the, uh, the, the most educated you can so you can be you know ten steps ahead if you spend all that time just educating yourself, you can come out a scholar or master a particular field and just be, you know, beyond successful. But it doesn't happen. A lot of people waste a lot of time, get involved in, you know, doing drugs, um, gang banging, politics. Therefore, their time is manipulated by the system. And that's what a lot of times, uh, you know, the, the, the whole system and environment counts on that you're gonna get played into everything that that the system consists of therefore you won't be able to get ahead but you know I started from negative and took it to a whole nother level and never entertain any excuses or my background using it as a crutch or uh, a hindrance and uh, you know so I'm a walking testament and to anybody who's just been out here who's complaining about they can't make it happen well you know it's all about what you what you envision and what you put your time into and the people you socialize with in your free time you know every minute counts don't waste time with jackasses or people who you know or just loud mouths or just ignorant complaining um, you can create whatever reality you want to create so it's up to you to create your reality you want to create in order to be successful. And, um, you know, coming out of prison, jail, you can still be successful, man. There's really no excuses. It's all about what you want to make happen. You know, just lacing you up. Big Herc 916.